Over the last five months, Repark Zoo has been closed, but we've said hello to a lot of new animals during that time. And to introduce one of those is an area supervisor, Alex. Alex, we are in our flight connection right now to say hi to some of our new trumpeter hornbills. Absolutely, Jed. We were very lucky this year. Um, we have not only will you see the parents and their offspring from last year, Ronnie, but now you'll see two new chicks with them. Now, trumpeter hornbills are from Africa, from the southern portion of Africa. You said south of the equator. This is a species that likes to nest in a tree. Absolutely, Jed. They will find a big tree and then they'll carve a cavity out. And they do this to protect their nests from any kind of predators. So snakes or primates or even larger birds that might eat the eggs or the chicks. Now, our parents were successful last year in raising one chick mm -hmm. and um, we didn't get an opportunity to see inside that tree cavity. But this year you actually rigged up a camera to see what's going on and you caught some pretty amazing footage. We had a local Boy Scout help us construct a frame that would keep a camera safe from the hornbills. Um, we were able to see when the female went into the nest. We were able to see the eggs when they were laid, the chicks when they were hatched and even what the parents were feeding the chicks, which is really exciting. Now feeding is pretty extraordinary as well because this is really a male-female relationship that happens where the mom is going to um, cocoon herself into this tree cavity. They mud it up. There's a small little slit that just can fit a bill and she's relying completely on the male to bring her food during the entire time she's in this tree cavity. So how long is she in that tree cavity? So from the time she mudded herself in to the time she came out, it was three months. So that whole time she's relying on her mate to feed her and then all the chicks. What an amazing relationship that the two have for a successful opportunity to raise offspring that avoids predation by primates, by other birds of prey. Now mom is inside, lays eggs. How long until they're going to hatch? So the eggs hatch after about 28 days. And then 50 days later, the chicks will be ready to come out. And the chicks are ready to come out when they can fly. So once they come out, they look like little adults. And they do. I mean, they, you know, if you looked at them right now, maybe a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but they look like small adults. Now they have this great little cast on top of their head too, on top of their um, bill. What is that cast for? So they're different theories. One is that it helps the sound they make carry. The other is that it helps them keep cool because it's a blood vessel uh, evaporation. Um, so different thoughts and the male cask in this species is larger than the female, even in the youngsters. So we think that we have one male and one female based on the size of the cask, but we will do a little blood test to check DNA to make sure that we're correct. Well, what an amazing story and congratulations on the addition <laughs> of a couple extra birds in your amazing flight connection. And if you guys want any more information on our trumpeter hornbills or any other animal here at the Reed Park Zoo, you can always go to our website at reedparkzoo.org and check it out there. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Jed Dodds bringing the zoo to you.